Welcome to Yakima Valley. Right now we're finally on the eastern side of the Cascades in Washington State. Uh, it's about three hours from Seattle within the larger Columbia Valley AVA in eastern Washington. It was quite the trip to make it over here. Very exciting journey through the Cascades. One thing we noticed as soon as we got over to the eastern side of the Cascades is the effects of the rain shadow, which is a big player in Washington uh, viticulture, uh, differentiating the west from the east sides of the state. So the east side of the state is in the, the rain shadow of the Cascade Mountains, and as soon as we crossed through the Cascade Mountains, it was a little bit warmer, a lot drier, and just much easier to drive in general. So on average, they receive six to 12 inches of rainfall and precipitation per year on the east side of the Cascades. On the other side, you get about 80 per year, if I remember 80 inches. Yeah, 80 inches. That's a lot of inches. So um, yeah. So while we were in a huge rainstorm just out of Seattle, here you can see it's dry, still cold. Um, which does affect the vines somewhat, but usually um, vines are able to survive the winter um, through a couple different vine training techniques. The first one that they do, which is often used in colder regions, is they bury the canes. Um, so any canes, um, long uh, pieces of vine that are fruiting, are buried underneath the soil. These are the such. canes, by the way. <laughs> they're not buried under the soil, but they're here. They cut them off. So. Um, so then they survive the winter, and sometimes not at this vineyard, uh, they do use a dual trunk training where two trunks are trained together, and statistically, even if one dies from the frost, one will always survive, which we also can really appreciate having a partner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Enjoy <laughs> One will always survive. <laughs> It's a big work. <laughs> <laughs> 